Hi, okay, today I wanted to do a one month update on baby Asher. He is already almost six weeks at the time of recording this. I'm a little late. Um, he turned a month old a week and two days ago. So it's been a minute and I'm a little late, but I just wanted to get this up there anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna talk about him and how he's been doing this past month. Um, yeah, I guess we can start with his weight. When we went to his one month appointment, we went to his one month appointment actually like exactly on the day he turned a month old. Um, they weighed him and he was eight pounds and 14 ounces and then he was 22 inches long. I think the measurement might be a little off though because his head, would, his head wasn't like exactly up to the top. So I think he might be closer to like 21 and a half inches at this point. Um, I'm not really sure. But he's still a little peanut, um, at least to me. He's still in newborn clothes right now and a newborn diaper as well. Um, the newborn diapers still fit him pretty well. The newborn clothes, I can tell are getting a little tight on him where I think he might only have like a week, maybe two weeks left in them. I would doubt if it got to two weeks actually. So probably more like a week, a week and a half at most until these start getting too small for him to wear. Um, but yeah, he's still comfortably fitting in a newborn diaper. So as far as appearance goes, he does have little um, stork bites, I think that's what they're called, they're stork, stork marks, stork bites, I'm not really sure. Um, he has one in between his eyebrows and then also on his eye, I think it's his, is it your, his right eye? Yeah, his right. Um, and for the most part, like if he's calm, you can't really see them, but when he gets angry or he's crying a lot, you can definitely see them, they flare up. Um, I'm not sure if those will like stay. I've heard that they do stay and that it's just something like you have until you're adult. Like it doesn't, they might fade a little bit, but they pretty much stay with you. I'm not really sure. I think his is going to stay and then, but I hope they're not very much of an issue unless he's like exercising or gets upset or whatever. Um, either way, I think he's cute. Um, also, he has a lot of hair. That's probably something that a lot of people noticed when he was first born. That's what I got the most comments about is how much hair he has. Um, he definitely has a full head of hair and surprisingly he hasn't lost much like Riley my oldest daughter She was born with a significant amount of hair not as much as him But still a good amount of hair and within about two weeks two to three weeks She had lost a good amount of it and it wasn't as thick whereas him I don't I mean maybe he's lost a little bit of it, but not much like he still has a very thick head of hair um, which is like, it's cute, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, it's kind of a bummer because I have a feeling that means that he's going to have to get his first haircut probably before he's one, um, or shortly thereafter. And my daughter's three and she is yet to have her first haircut. So I don't know. <laughs> Haircuts are so like emotional for me. They're emotional for like my own hair. Like, and I can't imagine how emotional I'll be when like he has to get his first haircut or my daughter has to get her first haircut. I don't know, I think he's gonna have to get one before I'm emotionally ready for that. But yeah, uh, what else? His eyes, so he does have brown eyes right now. Um, if I go out into the like sunlight, I can see what I think is like a twinge of green in them. I have a theory that he might have hazel eyes. Like more brown than green, but like brown with like a hint of green. Uh, I'm not really sure though. His eyes, his eyes are lighter brown than Riley's were, but they're still dark brown, if that makes sense. Like I have like dark, dark brown eyes. Riley had dark brown eyes, but they were lighter than mine. And his are still dark brown, but they're lighter than her eyes were too. So like on the lighter end of dark brown, if that makes sense. <laughs> so as far as breastfeeding goes, he has been doing really, really well. We haven't had to supplement with formula or anything and straight from the beginning like right as he was born i haven't had any problems breastfeeding which is insane like absolutely insane considering the breastfeeding struggle i went through with riley um this has been a complete dream i haven't had bleeding nipples i haven't had um crack nipples i, I haven't had to use lanonon or any is that what it's called lanonon lanonon lane whatever that nipple cream stuff is i haven't had to use any of that i haven't had any pain i think i had a clogged duck uh duct um, for like a day or two, but it went away really easily. I took a shower and expressed the milk out of it and it was gone. And that's pretty much it. Aside from that, it, his breastfeeding journey so far has been absolutely amazing. Um, he did have something called 
breast milk jaundice. He was jaundiced in the beginning of his first three weeks of life, um, which was kind of stressful, but I had gone through it previously with Riley before, so I wasn't as stressed as I was the first time around, which was helpful. Um, but basically talking with his pediatrician, we came to realize that he probably more than likely had breast milk jaundice. So there's two types of um, jaundice that are related to breastfeeding. There's breastfeeding jaundice and then there's breast milk jaundice. Breastfeeding jaundice is when your baby's not getting enough breast milk in order to flush out the bilirubin. Um, normally you're already having troubles breastfeeding. I, on the other hand, wasn't having any troubles breastfeeding. He was clearly getting enough because he was gaining weight, you know, at a good rate. Um, but basically breast milk jaundice is where there's something in his, in my breast milk that kind of delays or prohibits him from being able to flush the bilirubin out. So normally when you have jaundice, you have a jaundice baby, they tell you like feed him, like it'll help, like the poopy diapers will help flush out all the bilirubin. Well, my breast milk wasn't doing that. It was doing kind of the complete opposite. But she still said like, there's no need to supplement, like just keep going, like it's not harmful, it'll resolve itself. So that's what we did and in about three, three and a half weeks, he, it did, it resolved itself and he's no longer jaundiced, he's fine, he's good. Um, but yeah, that was a little stressful, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. And like I said, aside from that, the breastfeeding journey has been going like such a dream, such a dream. Sorry, I had to adjust there for a second. Um, Kind of related to breastfeeding though is, I guess the one thing that I am struggling with as far as breastfeeding going is his breastfeeding along with his sleep. So he has become a spoiled breastfeeding baby, um, just the same as my daughter was, where he wants to be at the boob 24 seven. And it's not even cluster feeding. It's just, he wants to sleep at the boob um, and he just wants to have the boob in his mouth when he's sleeping 24 seven, just so he can he basically use me as a human pacifier. So him being so attached to the boob has become kind of a problem in that sense. And, um, I'm hoping as he gets a little bit older that it'll kind of resolve itself and he won't be so dependent on the boob. Um, but right now it's kind of a nightmare. Like if you take him off the boob even for a second, like I'm really surprised that he's sleeping right now. Like it's an absolute shock because normally if you take him off the boob and he's sleeping within not even five minutes, he's crying and he's awake and he's mad until you give him the boob again. And then he gets in this vicious cycle where he's so tired but yet and he wants the boob but he doesn't want the milk so he just wants to suck so then i try to give him a pacifier but he doesn't want the pacifier he just wants to suck at the boob but he's mad because the boob like if you're sucking you're gonna get milk and he doesn't want the milk anymore he just wants the comfort and then he gets all mad and then he's overly tired and yeah so that's probably our biggest struggle right now is his daytime uh sleep and naps um, nighttime sleeping though, once he's down, he is down and like you can poke him, you can prod him, you can scream in his face if you wanted to really and nothing could wake this little boy up. He is sound asleep. Oh, I don't know, I'm just really excited. I can't believe, like I said, I just, I can't believe he's already a month old. It's absolutely insane to me, almost a month and a half at this point and it's just it's going by so fast. <laughs> I'm like, no, wait, wait, no, not yet. But um, here, I'll give you, oh, he's starting to wake up. Oh. Oh, he's getting mad. Okay, all right, sorry about that. I think he was getting a little hot. Um, he woke up and now he's nursing, so hopefully he'll be calm for a little bit longer. Um, I think that's it for him, though. As far as me, a month postpartum, almost six weeks postpartum at this point, um, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I am eager to start working out again, as weird as that may sound. Um, I don't know, just working out makes me feel good and I just miss it. I just miss having that time to myself and... I don't know, I just, I feel better when I work out, which is weird to say. I never thought I'd be that kind of person. I say I actually like miss working out, um, but yet here I am. <laughs> as far as weight, um, I, with my end pregnancy weight, I had only gained three pounds. So obviously I was back down to my pre-pregnancy weight once I gave birth to him. I am now down a total of almost 20 pounds, about 18, 19 pounds. Um, so I'm doing good there. But yeah, aside from that, we're doing good. This is a one month and um, I'm excited. I don't know, I'm very excited, but also at the same time, so sad that it's already been a month and a half and 
I don't know. But yeah, I'm just mixed emotions. But yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching.